So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, all of you. I mean, uh, based on whichever part of globe you are. So warm welcome to all of you uh, in today's webinar. And uh, we are incredibly honored to have uh, Mr. Subramaniam, who will help us out with the uh, strategy or roadmap that you can have for your uh, FRM level one. See, first of all, I would like to uh, like uh, like appreciate your step to enroll for FRM level one. It is uh, one of the best certification across globe in the banking and financial industry. So like, uh, see, it's in any journey, it's first step that is uh, like most toughest and you have already enrolled. Now let's move to the second step that is uh, understanding what are the like uh, challenges or uh, difficulties in the preparation of FRM level one. So without wasting any further time, like uh, I, I guess you all would be in this situation and we have a great mentor, uh, Mr. Subramaniam, who will help us out with uh, his experiences, insights uh, for FRM level one. So before we go ahead, I would just like to introduce Mr. Subramaniam. He is FRM certified. Uh, he has like, uh, like done his FRM with top quarters, both in level one and level two. And uh, like from his like interactions, we we definitely uh, we, we definitely know that his depth of knowledge is to the uh, level beyond FRM, I would say. And uh, apart from FRM, he has done uh, certification in anti-mundi laundering. He's system auditor also. And uh, I think uh, best thing that perhaps would have helped him is uh, like his bachelor's in mathematics. I think FRM needs a lot of quantitative aspects of uh, application. So uh, certainly I, I would uh, imagine it would have helped him. And other than that, uh, diploma in treasury risk management, foreign exchange, and uh, like he has, he has served banking industry ac across globe. So uh, trust me, we are incredibly honored to have Mr. Subramaniam on our panel. So uh, warm welcome, Mr. Subramaniam. Uh, I'll, I'll hand it over to you so you can just guide uh, to our candidates and uh, on can to candidates like uh, you can just uh, like uh, collect your questions and ask Mr. Subramaniam at the end once he's done. That would be great. And uh, like in flow also, you can if you want to ask, just raise hand or just put it in a chat box. I'll just, we'll take a pause and we'll uh, take a help from Mr. Subramanian. So Mr. Subramanian, over to you. Please uh, take it over. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pinchur. And first, uh, thank you for the opportunity to just to share a few of my thoughts with the participants. Uh, greetings to all the participants. A warm welcome to this webinar. And uh, thank you for your time and efforts to join this webinar. So, which really shows that uh, how serious you are about this FRM. So, that seriousness is the first thing um, which is required for the FRM. So, uh, what I plan is I'll just have some, uh, have a walkthrough or a brief overview of FRM, say for 10 to 15 minutes. Thereafter, I'll take the questions uh, because I know that uh, candidates or test takers or students or professionals might have multiple questions on this FRM and to some people it could remain as a mystery. So we will try to demystify and we'll try to put forth the uh, facts and figures as far as possible. So with this, with that brief introduction, I actually, actually if Kunal has already uh, spoken a few words about me, I work for a bank. I have 30 years experience in a bank. Uh, so that's a uh, brief about me. So just uh, FRM, as we all know, financial risk manager is uh, you know, administered by the GARP, which is one of the, what I can say, top-notch uh, professional body. And before going into the FRM exam, I would like to say a few words about GARP. GARP is having a publication called risk.net. That uh, really for the practicing, risk practicing professionals, uh, that is uh, what I can say, Bible. So the quality and depth of the articles they publish is really, really goes a long way for any risk professional to manage their practices so well. So now we'll come to FRM part one. I think the audience is um, interested to take the FRM part one in the near future, right? 
yes sir yes yes thank you in the first step i would strongly suggest is to have a steady plan without steady plan nothing will happen so if i remember correctly there are 60 chapters right kunal 60 chapters in part 1 yes yes sir yes we have fixed it my suggestion is have a excel sheet i think lot of study planners even finitur is giving you a study planner so without that study planner nothing will happen and whoever is already is in mc doing mba finance or in bcom or somebody will have a prior knowledge about the financial terms because all these financial terms appears to be alien to all of us so first thing is to familiarize the terms so don't worry about understanding the terms in the first reading just to try to familiarize yourself with the terms so my suggestion is read a chapter watch the videos by given by the service providers and in google also there are many many videos because there is no dearth of resources in this information explosion age yeah so, agree agree sir yes so there is no dearth of resources only how do you find the right resource that is the challenge here i think here i would like to quote steve jobs all of us know steve jobs steve jobs once said nobody needs to learn coding all that they need to learn is where it is available in google with this open source uh, thing all the codes are available in google it is the skill of the professional or the skill of the individual how does he able to find out the right code so that he can make use of it so similarly it is your uh, time and effort should be channelized to find out the right resource once you land in the right resource then uh, what i can say rest is cake walk so again coming back to my study plan have a study plan follow that schedule target to try to do one chapter a day and in weekend you can try to complete three or four chapters if you follow this study plan then the widely believed or widely publicized just a 16 week study plan actually garp also advocate a 16 week study plan so true sir true that i just i would just like to add over here yes. like uh, completely uh, like a fair point that if for any journey we need to have a road map like uh, in the in the scattered way like things may not work in that way so uh, the first pointer i would encourage all of you to make is study plan have your study plan uh, and uh, track your progress consistently i would encourage you to all uh, all of you to do that yes sir over to you yes so i religiously followed by study plan actually i am sharing my experience i am not talking in the air or something i was a very very serious candidate for sfrm i put in my efforts for three months i started my journey in last may i took part one in november and i took part two in may so the, it uh, unless somebody puts in a whole lot of effort time and uh, focus nothing is going to happen so yeah. let's see, see your personal and professional life whether you will be able to devote adequate time without devotion i think better to drop out on the first uh, first instance so first is study plan second is wherever you are not able to get the points don't get stressed about it just to move on just to move on try to make a note so have a notebook and try to make note of the points wherever you are struggling at the time of revision it will be helpful very very helpful <laughs> so true sir true go on go on go on sir that's just uh, like yeah the second thing is by reading the spacer is enough that is the first question we have been coming across in many forums many groups is whether spacer is enough based on my experience i strongly feel that spacer material is more than enough uh, and keep reading the essay like a story book don't worry that if you are able to understand or not able to understand forget it don't get stressed and stuck in a particular chapter or don't never ever get stuck in a particular chapter if, the, if you find the particular chapter is so difficult or so confusing just read like a story book and move on then thereafter at the time of revision with your prep service prep provider or your group study group or our some somebody else will be asking some other question some other clarification will come that time then your mind will automatically click okay 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 so don't stuck it's like a river na you should keep on flowing you don't stagnate anywhere and don't try to fight with that chapter so no 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 i will fight with this chapter i will i will uh, come out uh, i will conquer this chapter no that's not going to help because the curriculum is so vast 
and the terminologies are so many so, uh, so don't get stuck that is the second uh, experience i would like to share third is in part one especially the numericals numericals yes it will be a very challenging especially who are not having statistic uh, background quantitative analysis could be a big challenge but here the thing is uh, going back to the basics only will help you so prep, uh, service prep uh, exam prep providers uh, do a, uh, play a great role in this uh, you know clarifying the ba back to basics uh, things if you are not max graduate or if you are not uh, statistics background you will find quantitative analysis a bit difficult but remember the important concepts are being repeatedly asked Say, for example, let us assume it's a wide belief. See, FRM question paper that nobody knows. It is only based on the past experience we make some inferences. And the wide belief is about 20 to anywhere between 15 to 25 percent will be the numericals. So if you are having 100 questions, the possibility to get the numericals is between 15 to 25. Nothing less, nothing more. So it is your luck or your, your day. If you get 15, you are happy. If you are getting 25, it's a bit difficult. But even then 25 also, the repeated as like say, for example, Bayes theorem. Bayes theorem will be asked in every, almost all the papers. So try to find out the important topics where the numericals are coming. Try to practice it again and again. And Garp is uh, very well knowing, known for throwing a spanner on the wheel. So they will twist the question and throw a spanner to dislodge you. So that we should be prepared. That comes only with the practice. So the third question is after giving one reading or one, say, what you call, one time watching of all the videos, whatever available, you just straight away jump into the question banks. Only question banks will guide you to manage the sufficient terms adopted by the GARP. Okay. So this is it. And the guard question by practicing guard question bank is paramount importance that will give you the what do you call the feeling of the exam. So guard uh, guard publishes at least uh, two practice paper per year. So if you collate some say for example last four or five years, you will get some uh, ten question papers. But uh, the advantage of this is guard as a practice of repeating the same question in multiple practice papers. So you attended paper number one. When you attend the paper number two, you will find some few questions are repeated. So that when you attend that uh, question repeated, you will be able to answer correctly. That uh, builds up your confidence. So don't uh, don't uh, think that I'm attending the same question. Garp is repeating. I believe they are repeating for a reason. So it serves as a revision, automatic revision on its own. So this is what I want to share my experience. Uh, sir, sorry to interrupt. Can you name a yeah. few more topics for benefit of uh, candidates? Like I think you mentioned Bayes' theorem. Can you mm -hmm. name a few more from quantitative analysis? Because I think that's the biggest pain area for all of the candidates uh, who are from not, I think you spotted not maths or stats background. Yes. So can you name a few more topics from quantitative analysis for benefit of all? Sure, I will. See, the uh, quantitative analysis, if I remember correctly, there are about uh, 12 to 14 chapters, right? 14. Yep. 12, 14. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, time series analysis could be very difficult. So, you need to see again, you need to understand the basic concept from Investopedia. There are a lot of researchers. But if you don't have that much time for the uh, study on your own, you have to take the help of a exam prep provider. Without the help of the exam provider, you have to dedicate more time. So there is time series analysis. I'm not able to recollect uh, more topics, but uh, quantitative so, analysis continue to be remained very, very challenging. Yeah. So Plus, can I name, say, hypothesis testing, linear yes, regression, yes. and uh, like multiple linear regression. And I right. think they are, now they have introduced machine learning as well. So yes. uh, like these are the key areas, I would say, like uh, if one is not that much handy with uh, time series, then perhaps one can focus on linear regression, hypothesis testing, machine learning. Is that is that correct? Like Very strategy true. point of view? Very true. Thanks for supplementing me because I could not readily recollect the names. Thanks for that. So as, um, Sajin, as yeah. was saying, find out your strength. Focus on your strength. Don't bog down too much on the concepts which you are not able to master, master it. 
Sure, and thank you, sir. and uh, the third uh, third uh, see again machine learning machine learning try to uh, read for your knowledge but uh, so far it's being a relatively new concept the exam questions in my experience uh, are asked for very very fundamental so even with common sense you can attempt the machine learning they are not uh, dwelling deep into the subject uh, as far as the exam questions are concerned that's what my experience so have you th thorough reading for your you know enjoy like a playbook you enjoy the reading unless you enjoy what you are reading it's going out to be uh, continue to be you know uh, uh, as a foreigner to you so once you are able to enjoy what you are reading things will be you will find it more easy and please po keep uh, posting the questions in the all the study forums so that will really as long as you are active participants in any multiple forums unknowingly so many things will go into your mind you will not even realize that your mind is grasping so many things so that is all called self study is like a monologue you are talking to yourself but with uh, with a study group or with a service provider exam prep provider and all you will have a dialogue okay dialogue always helps because it True, is uh, all of us know all of us uh, you know if, uh, uh, what do you call middle aged professionals or you know at least completed graduation or at least studying graduation so the maturity level is definitely high so reading the retention of the reading uh, the what is the research says it's only 20% whereas when you speak or when you hear or when you visualize the audio video aid the retention power will uh, dramatically or drastically increases so make best use of the technology which is available to this generation <clears throat> to true sir true come on yeah. with the colors True, sir. Very true. And I recollect when you used to ask questions in the forum, uh, our faculties themselves used to feel that the question is like those were quite genuine. And it used to make them also think that what could be a step ahead for those concepts. So uh, completely agree when you are studying in silo, that may not help. In this, like as sir said, that you can have a dialogue, you can be active on forums, speak up build on more in concepts that will certainly help you out and this era sir said that we have an access to a lot of resources which was not privileged say one or two decades back like uh, now like the audio visuals resources are quite quite uh, readily available to everyone so take advantage of that just uh, see it just stuff now it's sir said that there is a uh, stuff explosion like you can get everything on google you can save down your pdf on your hard drive but that's not going to help it's just you who have to be interactive on forums or uh, like prep providers anyone it has to be your interaction which can perhaps help you out so yeah over to you sir please thanks so see we will just quickly have a uh, refresh of the four uh, books First is the fundamentals of risk management should be the easiest one for everyone. Second, quantitative analysis will be very, very challenging for many of us. Third is the financial markets and products. Those who are in this, uh, what do you call, with the, the academic background of BCom or uh, MBA finance, those who are having some financial background as, as uh, either literally or by way of their profession, they will find it very easy. So say, for example, for me, my strong strength area was the financial products and mar uh, markets. So because I work mm -hmm. in bank, so yeah. uh, none of the concepts are not uh, new to me. Mm. So everything uh, I have come across, I have handled uh, throughout my career. So I found that very easy. So the fourth chapter is a purely technical valuation and model, valuation models. So that also, if you got familiarized with the concepts, then you will go along with it. So familiarizing with the concepts is the key. So this is, uh, you have to find out your strong area, strength area and focus so that you can get first to quartile in your, uh, what are, in your strongest area. And next thing I want to talk about is the, uh, what is the passing score? There are so many Google, the first thing, nobody knows for how God determines the passing quartile, passing, uh, how do they determine? My understanding is based on the past history, I think it's somewhere anywhere between 45% to 65, 55% is the pass rate overall. And I think I read somewhere the highest pass rate in one year, uh, I don't recollect the year, it was 62%. That is the highest pass rate. 
which means if 100 people are attending, max to max, 62 people will be declared as pass. So this is one thing. Second thing is, it is a wide belief that everyone agrees, is that if you are able to score somewhere between 65 to 70 in your mark exams, then you can be rest assured that you will be clearing the FRM. So try to achieve uh, in all your mark exam, 65 to 70. Have the target with cushion. 70 is with cushion. Okay, even if you manage to get 55 in the actual exam, it is uh, believed that you will be declared pass. So this is about the pass. Uh, 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 what is the passing criteria? Then fourth thing is the another big point is the formulas. How do I remember the formulas? To be honest with you, I am 50 years old. I found it very, very difficult to remember the formula. The only answer is uh, practice. I had the formula sheet with me always. I will carry the formula sheet with me. Whenever time permits, I will just to browse it through. Don't try to memorize. Memorizing is not going to help. Keep looking at the formula sheet, at least daily ones. Don't worry whether it is going to your mind or not. Just uh, at the right time, the mind is a very beautiful organ, fantastic organ rather, I would say. It will recollect on its own. But rehearsing and re re keep on uh, practicing is without that, nothing will happen. So try to develop love to the subject. We never forget our date of birth. Why? Because we love our date of birth. So, but so similarly, unless you practice and develop a love towards the subject, mind will take care of its uh, own. So for the formula, I'm again, again repeating, I had the formula sheet printed with me always. I carry the formula sheet at all times. Whenever for two minutes, five minutes, I'll just have a browse through. So, when practice in the question banks, you will not remember the formula. At that time, immediately refer the formula book, no worries. But second time, when you are again attending the same question, you will come out very successful. So, practice, practice, practice. Is, so, this is the only mantra for the formulas. I think this is what I have in mind to share. I am. I think I am done. I am open to take any questions. Over to Finchu. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you. The uh, anyone from uh, anyone from audience would like to ask anything from to sir, like uh, very specific to your case. Like I think sir covered uh, largely. Uh, like if I were to make few pointers, have a study planner, and uh, develop law for the subject instead of uh, memorizing. That may not help. Try to relate with with the applications and uh, like be interactive on forums and uh, like make your studies concise, like uh, don't try to validate books. You can see this point over here also. If you try, well, if you just like uh, be stubborn with yourself that I'll understand this topic and then I will move ahead. Trust me, you are, like your precious time would be wasted. So sometimes as Sir said that during question solving, that concept may get clear instead of uh, like uh, struggling during your readings. Just go 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 ahead with the uh, whatever you have read. So yeah, any specific questions, please feel free to put in chat box or just uh, unmute yourself and speak up. Like feel free to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I we have uh, Spa Manla. Please, yeah, please go ahead. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, my good name day. is Paman Langkosi. I, I do have a question uh, with regards to number one, the study material i don't know if our speaker has any advice in terms of like uh, how much time to dedicate to the actual study material that's provided by uh gap and that's the first question number two uh my second question is with regards to the formula sheet i, I don't know if during the exams are allowed to bring uh, a formula sheet or they provide the formula sheets uh to us thank you so, Supreme sir, would you like to take that up? Yes, I will take this. Yeah. yeah. See, I think I was mentioning about the study plan. If you are able to try to cover one chapter a day, and during weekends, if you are able to cover, say, minimum three chapters, so in a week, you will cover about eight chapters, eight to ten chapters. Your tar target should be to cover eight to ten chapters, okay, in a week. So, minimum is eight, maximum is ten. If you are able to cover that, then within say about eight weeks, you'll be covering the entire syllabus. So the remaining eight weeks you have for the your uh, revision and the practicing the question banks. So uh, basically most of the students follow Swisher material because GARP material is very exhaustive. So you will waste a lot of time in 
what you call try to understand the very elaborate definitions and explanations given by Bar GARP because GARP is a very very vast curriculum that you can have it as a reference book but if you are uh, if you want to follow the GARP book I think three months time will not may not be enough that's what my feeling is so my my suggestion or my experience is follow the Spicer book if you follow the Spicer book and Spicer videos by your uh, either your exam provider or it is available in plenty in Google Read the chapter, watch the video, and practice the chapter-wise question bank. One chapter is done. So similarly, you have to do one chapter a day. First, read the chapter. Don't worry about understanding it or not. Just read it like a storybook. Watch the related chapter video. So then your mind will grasp whatever you are reading. You will be able to relate in the video. Then practice the chapter-wise question for that chapter. One chapter is done. So target 10 chapters a week. So this is what uh, my experience uh, suggestion for the reading. Next is the formula sheet. Every prep provider is giving you a formula sheet, ready-made formula sheet. For example, analyst prep. Analyst prep gives you a ready-made formula sheet that is available in Google for free. Or uh, the finitude is also has come out with the formula sheet. I think they can, they may share. I do not know about that. So that have a hard copy in your hand. Mm. All those formulas are cha book wise, chapter wise are clearly bifurcated and uh, ordered in the chronological or uh, in some serial order. I hope you, I answered your question. <laughs> yeah, to sum up Spa Mandala, I think, uh, I mean, just to summarize what sir said, it, it's a Schweizer, which, which is recommended by sir. Adds, GARP may take a lot of your time. And uh, if you need to say, if you are standing currently on July 7, 2024, if you are planning to appear for November, I, ideally it should be, a Schweizer material that is quite concise. They have just summarized everything that you need for your preparation. That's number one. Number two, I think, yeah, formula sheet as I mentioned, but in exam, you won't be allowed to uh, carry that along with you. It's just your brain memory that has to store by understanding intuition or just for a day at least, if you can remember, that would be great. Does that answer, Swamandla? Uh, yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else from audience would like to ask anything very specific to your case? Please feel free to do that. Oh, hi, my name is Krutika. Yeah, hi, Krutika. I'm actually facing a little uh, problem when I'm using the calculator. So is there any way we can uh, kind of understand? Uh, sometimes, you know, my calculator does not match the answer. My method is correct. And when I do manually, it's right. But obviously, some long calculations doing manually is time consuming. So sure, sure, sir. Would you like to take that? Up yeah, yeah. Some... Actually, yeah. I, yeah. it's a good question, and actually, we missed this part uh, really. And True. sorry for that. Thank you, Kritika. You raised a very, very valid point. See, first you have to familiarize with the calculator operations. I spent around three days to familiarize myself. I watched a lot of Google videos to you how to use this calculator. That is, uh, you have to, uh, what I can say, you have to master these calculations. That comes only and only with practice. So just to watch the Google videos, if you want offline, we will share, I'll share, I think prep provider or myself can share the relevant videos if you don't have time to really, I think uh, Finch is already having the video for how to use the calculators. Yeah. And I think they've shared many times in the study forum. So they, they will be happy to share again, or I'm also happy to share. So if you watch and practice, I think you will master in no, not uh, more than two to three days. So sure. Kritika, just to add what Subramaniam sir said is like uh, practice is the key. And number two, when it comes to like you said that answers are not matching. Sometimes there are basic initial settings that you have to do in your calculators. So I think what sir mentioned, it will be covered in those videos also. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, just practice, but uh, before you jump on in practice, as you highlighted that sometimes your answer doesn't match, uh, even though you have followed the right right process. But it is it may be just because of some basic settings. You might not have uh, like every time, say, for example, you are calculating bond price, you have to clear your prior memory. So there is a step called clear TVM. 
perhaps if if something from prior calculation is already uh, going into your further processing of calculation that might be leading to the wrong answer so uh, like yeah, that's a quite generic answer it's just uh, when you will apply it practically in practice and uh, like initial settings i would say should be the key does it help krutika uh, yes yeah, sure i'll have a look at those uh, videos thank you sir most welcome anyone else from uh, audience like all are good with fm strategies yeah yes no at least acknowledge be interactive Please guys yes, yeah so sir i think uh, you can you can um, drop off and we'll connect for uh, level 2 let's just in meantime i'll just walk through this this tech to audience if you uh, like feel free to do drop sir i mean we can have you in uh, our part 2 session which is in some time thank you thank you brother some thanks to you we were it, it was really honored to have uh, you on our panel and uh, like uh, i mean it was great to hear your experiences and that you came across during uh, your frm journey and those were quite relatable i think most of uh, candidates here could have related uh, what you were just uh, talking about because they were they might be also facing same challenges that you might have uh, faced uh, last year thanks for again sir my best best wishes to everyone take it seriously you will definitely uh, come out successful thank you once again have a good day thank you so guys uh, just i'll just walk you through a bit of uh, i think uh, introduction about i'm from admin team of finisher education so it's like uh, see lot of times you will come across preparation providers i would not i would i would avoid naming that they may just uh, like give you assurance of getting the job in us or somewhere else after fm journey see it's just a journey that that you, it's difficult where the part of preparation provider is like during their promotions they may emphasize that you will get job but see it's just a journey wherein mentor's role would be the key wherein you need a mentor along with you like uh, during your journey and uh, like you can just take opinion from lot of other people like they just pay and they are just left out it's not really with us financial education they will be your mentor like uh, like you can just go to our website and read testimonials we are always available of course our uh, faculties are working professionals so on weekdays there could be some delay in reverting queries but when it comes to weekends we are like quite responsive immediately when you post any query so that's where that's like uh, unmatched value the value that we deliver to our candidates it's quite uh, remarkable i would say we for just what amount you pay as compared to what value you get you can just go anywhere across globe you can just compare our uh, fees and versus what other providers are charging and what value they are delivering see it's at the end of day it's value it should be upskilling so uh, like see if i were to give a example uh, nokia could have sustained it in the environment because he did not created value in his product they are out of market today you can get ample amount of example for your career trajectory also i would strongly encourage you all to keep up skilling after frm you have you should that would be again a starting journey for something learning new say if i were to name python tableau or any other see it the, the frm would just give you the knowledge to apply knowledge you would need some tool to use it so that's where your new journey will start after frm so like we would be your mentor till i mean like you would be part of a great community when you enroll yourself with a future education so no empty promises we will we will not give you false promises and uh, rather we would encourage you to work hard see just you who had to upskill it we can just mentor you we can just guide you we can just give you road maps and career guidance like uh, like we have the panelist he was quite experienced he can guide you where you want to head in your career and uh, like we are quite reasonable when it comes to fees as compared to other providers and what i was referring to like if you are standing here like if you don't take so this is a age like say for example you are starting your career your one years of experience and over here it 10 years of experience if you continuously keep upskilling yourself 
see just the trajectory look at the trajectory where you started and where you can head and uh, like if you're just quite uh, like quite flexible with your weekends see why you and me are here like it's sunday we could have spent time with family and we could have just went out for watching movies or doing other stuff we are here we are just we just want to upskill ourselves so because this career trajectory differential widens if we are quite flexible with our weekends or like our behavior towards study or upskilling like this see trust me it's just the inr packet that this was just a research that we had conducted say around two years back so this is how it looks like but the point i'm trying to make here is the only time that you have to to grow your career trajectory exponentially is initial one first 10 years of your career afterwards quite flat sometimes people struggle to just sustain in the environment so you will be in a competitive position when you are upskilling yourself continuously are you guys with me are, are you guys following or it, it is kind of a philosophical class please acknowledge with uh, to whatever i'm saying if uh, first of all am i audible or i'm just speaking to myself can you acknowledge yes yes great Kritika, thanks. So this is, I hope, all clear. The key point is upskilling. Please up, keep upskilling yourself. Never stop learning. Never. I think the panelist he he we had was around fifty. You can imagine at fifty he could clear his level one and its quartiles are top one. And the question he used to ask were excellent, phenomenal. Like uh, it, these were like it was our faculty used to think that uh, where, who's asking these questions we actually used to get this question who's that person coming up with these questions these are really great questions so think in that way and uh, this was yeah i mean we touched upon this so just don't study in silo like uh, you may end up being in that silo it's just the interaction move into the wider world now see nowadays i think we have global audience here it just you for it's for you to step out, like come come out of that comfort zone. So be active on all forums. I think we have got excellent forums for FRM. So be active all over forums and keep thinking on the questions asked by others. And don't waste your time to validate books. The most important one, wrong question ranks. At the inception, you will not even know what question ranks are more relatable in markets. There are ample amount of questions ranks, so you may not know. So please, uh, like uh, our core group is quite active. We have got our mocks also on the website. So please do visit that. Any doubts, feel free to DM on WhatsApp number you're connected with. And uh, as the sir mentioned that study planner and mark your progress consistently. It shouldn't happen that you are not marking your progress. You have study planner, but it's not updated. Like it should be, it should be updated con continuously. It shouldn't happen that you're not marking and uh, no structured way. Like don't proceed in a scattered way, like have some order. Like uh, we, we encourage to, when we encourage people to go for quants first, followed by FMP, followed by valuation and respondent, followed by foundation. Why we, I'm saying foundation at last, because mm -hmm. it's like uh, foundation is something, uh, which is quite theoretical in nature. So you may have to remember a lot of stuff. So if you do that quite closer to exam, that will be stored in your memory. So that's the reason we encourage students to do foundation at the end. And uh, like, yeah, no dedication, like from it's you who have to be dedicated to the study planner, practicing, being active on forums. It would be you, not no one can help you out if you yourself are not dedicated it so just be keep your intensity high towards the goal and achieving getting through trust me if you are done with frm in next one year it would shape your entire trajectory you would be open for a lot of opportunities it's it's a global certification it's not really a region specific a lot of uh, global opportunities may be open for you so uh, i think i think we touched upon this so i'll just move so self-study it could be like uh, these are the top premier institutes of the world so the top uh like the people who are from these institute can go think of self-study because they have that level of caliber i'm not saying can't be done but uh best to pro take a help from the preparation providers 
if you are working professional, you have shortage of time. So that's the that's where the preparation provider's role will come into picture. So mentor is must, I would say. It just uh, see at any time, like when we are kids, it's our parents who are kind of act as a mentor for us. So like. See, for every journey, the role of mentor is, I would say, remarkable because he or she has already done that journey. So he can guide us in a better way rather than be exploring on Google and uh, trying our own and uh, like beliefs that may, I mean, head us in a complete different direction, ending up wasting our precious time. I would say uh, more than money that you will pay again. It is uh, your precious time, which like your starting of career would be delayed. So that's something which shouldn't happen. Don't waste time in validating book. Take help from preparation provided. Like when I'm explaining, is it going you much deeper in your mind rather than when you were Googling for same thing? Can anyone confirm? Does it make sense? Like you might have Google, what is the best way to prepare for FRM? And when I'm explaining you, it's much, much more deeper going in your brain. Is that happening? Yes, no. It's not happening. <laughs> then perhaps I'm not explaining that well. Please, anyone confirms? See, yes, no, it's fine. I mean, see, I may not be best explainer, but uh, at least acknowledge that uh, whether you're understanding what I'm explaining or Google, read on searching on Google was better. What was better? Like, let's be, I mean, not someone who's already done with that journey and explaining you or searching on Google, which which was better. Anyone please acknowledge it's just one way communication that that's a bit, uh, sometimes a bit embarrassing. So please acknowledge any of you. I see some comment in chat. Time keeping in mind is best if somebody else explains you. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Kritika. And thanks, Parmula. Uh, I think, yeah, you, uh, you for, thanks for acknowledging in the comment box. Thanks, Kritika. So let's move it. I think I touched upon all six. So you can see that uh, wrong question bank. It's a wrench like this. You can see screwdriver here. Uh, like it's a it's a screw which can be handled by a screwdriver. But if you try to handle it with the wrench, then like you're putting efforts by applying wrench. But th this tool for this particular stuff is not that great. This tool for screw is a screwdriver, not a wrench. So if you're putting efforts with the wrong tool, then it's not going to fetch you results. It's a proper strategy. Like I would emphasize the wrong question bank is a big mess for all FRM candidates. So progress trackers, like uh, in any journey, it's like most crucial to have where you have rest. And uh, no structured way of preparation. As I said that you need to have this like a proper plan. And uh, no dedication, of course, this is something uh, no one, even mentor, won't be able to help you out. If you yourself, you're not committed. So, uh, like, see, uh, I think wrong presentation we have, but it's for, like, yeah, wrong slide. It's one. For level one on your website, you will see around 30,000. But we have offer only for today. Like, if you enroll with us today, you would be charged around say 20,000 INR. You can convert it to your respective currencies. And what you would get is like strong fundamentals as Sir was saying that get your intuition stronger rather than just mugging up thing and ultimate ability to apply like the kind of practice, number of practice questions and kind of practice question that you're given. Like it will make you in a position to apply best and uh, during our sessions also, we come up with a lot of practice questions, which will make you think. And uh, like we have all faculties, like uh, once we had on panelists, but he was like superior one and we are quite result oriented. We will not, we will make your preparation quite aligned with the exam. It won't be in a scattered way. Uh, so it's quite aligned in the exam. So uh, that's what we can offer you. So like just with a closer comment, if you enroll today, if you are wishing, if you like the session, uh, let's just in a 15 minutes, uh, like, uh, like in, in, uh, in, for, in to, for today, you can just, uh, come up with, uh, just DM us, uh, on the WhatsApp number you are done with, uh, you're in touch with. So, 
uh, we can always help you out. But from tomorrow, this price would be 30,000 INR for level one. For level two, we have, it's 35,000. We have next seminar coming up where also we have offer only for today. So it won't be applicable today. Yeah, thanks, Kutika. No, no worries. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, just DM, feel free to DM to our WhatsApp number that we had that you are always touch into. So uh, we would be happy to end. But this offer is only for today, just July 7. From tomorrow, it would be 30,000 INR. And uh, we will offer weekend patch. And if you've got any doubts, what would you be, would you be offered in this? Please feel free to DM. We will connect over Zoom again and uh, we'll solve you all your queries. Then you can enroll. But this offer would be applicable only today. So uh, just bear that in mind and uh, DM us. With that, I'll just uh, end this session. If anyone likes to say any closure comments, any doubts, please let us know. We have another seminar uh, like queued. So I need to jump there. Yes, uh, so I mean, the recording would be available. Anyone else? Anyone else has any question? Okay, cool. So with that, uh, I wish you all the best. Do well in your uh, will FRM. Do well in your career. Do well in your life, wherever you are. So, so stay healthy and uh, stay happy. Thank you.